In previous recordings, we learned how to add connections to our design and how to efficiently copy them. In today's presentation, we will add bracing between columns, roof bracing, and discuss basic settings of bracing geometry. To work on the bracing, we'll start with drawing auxiliary lines between columns and girders. Then, let's define the plane in which the bracing will be drawn. For this purpose, on the View ACS View tab, let's choose a system of coordinates in relation to the column. Similarly, in the roof bracing, let's build the geometry based on the auxiliary line drawn earlier and then let's define the working plane. If we have not built in auxiliary line, we can use another modeling option. After clicking on the dynamic bracing icon, click on the point button, define the intersection points of bracing and then the supporting elements. In this case, you also need to define the working plane beforehand. Once our bracing has been built up, we have a constant influence on its settings. If you enter the wireframe view, you will see characteristic lines through which you can access the bracing settings again. If you want these lines to be visible in any other view, after right-clicking, enter the program options, then under the display tab, select the field structural objects in shade. At any time during the project, we can edit the bracing components, the shape of the castle plates, the type of fasteners, their spacing, and the tensioning elements in the case of bar bracing. Castle plates can be also modified with the use of standard MicroStation AccuDraw tools. These tools allow us to move better in 3D view and precisely cut the elements. Finally, just like with connections, we can create templates and save our settings.